time for 10 minutes of Pilates and 10 minutes of Pilates. And we are gonna focus today on um, the side body. Cause it doesn't get enough love in this side part of our body. So we're gonna stretch it and we're gonna strengthen it. So let's actually, let's start with our legs and crisscross in case you're not warmed up and reach up and over and get a nice big stretch along this open side here, keeping the hip down and then go the other way. One more each direction. All right, bring one leg curved around if you can, if you have that motion available to you. Hello, bring your arms out to the side, rise up tall, tip, and then reach over. And then find that tall position again, and tip and reach over. We are focusing on the side body today. So it's gonna start with a stretch, and then it's going to move on to strengthening stuff, including side planks. And last one. And let's switch to the other side. Legs to the other side. Tall, tip, reach over. And up and over the other direction. Four. off to the side, slouch down and pull up and just get a stretch along here and then some stability here. Feel how your shoulder blade moves along your back rib cage and how you can kind of lock yourself into a stable position by bringing this shoulder blade uh, in towards the back. Last one, hold this position and then come up onto your knees and that hip back down. And I don't know if you can see that, but my hip is rising off of the ground and coming back down. And three, two, and one. And then I'm gonna go onto my hand, a slight diagonal so that when I lift up, my shoulder oh, is pretty much over my wrist and come back down. Keeping space between my shoulder and my ear. Three. Two. And it's a little lift from here to get you. All right, back to your elbow. We're gonna go elbow and feet. So your knees and hips are gonna come off the ground. Shoulders on top of your elbow and lift from your side here. Five, four, keeping space here. Three, that shoulder blade sticking to that back rib cage. Two, and one. All right, and onto the hand. Five. Four, three, two, and one, bring your arm up. Okay, from here, can you pick up your hips and look under your shoulder and then come back to that side plank position? We just have two more of these and then we're on to the other side. One and two, awesome. Other side, start from hips and elbow, slouch and pick up, slouch and pick up. Three, two, and one. Good, and now you're gonna come onto your 
knees, five, four, feeling this bottom waist lift you, three, two, and with a little bit of length from the top of your head to your knees, one, and onto that bottom hand. Hello, five, keeping space between your shoulder and your ear, four, three, two, and one. Back down to your elbow. I don't know if I pointed out last time, but my foot, my top foot slightly on in front of my bottom foot here. And you're gonna come up onto your elbow and feet. Hip is lifted off the ground, waist lifted. Four, three, thinking length through the top of the head and bottom of the feet, two. Space between your shoulder and ear, one. And then onto your hands and feet, here we go. Five, oh, I didn't do my hand on the other side. <laughs> Four, it actually makes it easier. So for me, like, if you wanna make it easier, one thing you can do is lift that arm up. I'm gonna make it same as the other side. All right, so now we're gonna hold it. Now we're gonna put our arm up and we're gonna lift our hips up and dive under. And come back, two more. Almost fell. <laughs> nice. All right. Now we'll do some easier side body stuff. Lie all the way down. And um, I know that this seems like slightly impossible, but we're gonna pick up our body, the top half, up, half of the body, while keeping the legs down. I think it'd be pretty hard to do with your hand up on your waist. So I'm gonna put my hand here for a little bit of help. I'm resting my head in my arm and I'm coming up like I'm squishing my top rib to my top pelvis, or like my top ear wants to listen to that hip. <laughs> and four, three, two, one. And now lift, lift, uh, leave the bottom, the top half of your body on the ground and lift up your legs. If this hurts your hip, you can shift back a little bit so that you're more on the fleshy part of your hips. And four, three, two, one. Flip to the other side, lifting the upper body up and down. Eight, seven, legs are staying on the ground. Four, three, two, and one. And then legs are lifting up and down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so let's just finish with that same stretch that we started with. Reach up and over, keeping both hips anchored to the ground, getting a nice open stretch from your pinky all the way down to your hip. And other side. And we are done. Thanks for joining me for 10 minutes of Pilates this afternoon. Have a good rest of your night. Hi. <laughs>